Hi, this is Tammy Parrish from The Clothing Compass, and joining me today is Eric Vernick. Eric, I want to pull up his biography and introduce him properly. He's a serial entrepreneur, an international keynote speaker, a connector, and an investor. So Eric, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for inviting. Thank you. Thank you. And Tammy. I want to ask you three questions. The first one, because you are a professional speaker, what has been until now your biggest return on investment for public speaking? What has it brought you? Uh, a lot of connections, um, new businesses, uh, branding. Um, I can just go on with a huge list. We say uh, in the Netherlands is is like toilet paper roll. You can just pull it out, and it's like a lot of uh, points that it can be uh, said. But overall, it's it just when you're authentic on a stage, it brings you a lot of peop people to connect with you without you going and networking um, yourself. So it's, you're getting a kind of being a magnet um, because you drop some ideas on a stage and you say, hey, I'm looking for a potential business partner, et cetera. Then people are coming to you in a way, in a positive way, so you can basically build your, uh, and help others build their business. That's what it brought me. So it's high return, you've got a, a minimal amount of time that you're speaking, and then it's bringing you a large quantity of so business. Speaking is, you're one step away to get your next um, new business career, new job, um, uh, new connections, your partner. Uh, and what is a one tip that you want to share with the viewers about uh, a tip for public speaking? What would you give your best advice? I think every, a lot of people will say, be yourself. Uh, but the problem with being yourself, not a lot of us know who we are ourselves because we all have these different masks that we wear. Um, only thing that I can say is try to be authentic. And what I mean with that is be vulnerable. It's okay to mm. share your bad experiences and it's okay to be uh, to share your good experiences in a way it's not like instagram you only show the best pictures you also have to show um in your story um your learnings your learning curves it's like a hero's journey is you pay a lot of attention to how you dress yourself i know that so thank you for noticing. what is your best one of your favorite outfits that you've worn to present to a group and I'm, i want to i want you to describe it please and also tell me how you felt when you had it on that's a very good and deep question in a sense um i cannot answer with one answer i have to pack it in um, and what I mean with that is, if you dress well, you got this confidence. It's like being a soldier. When you dress your uniform, you feel powerful. Mm. Um, it's for female and male the same. Um, and I always say, be better than your audience. So if you go to a room, just be slightly better than your audience. This doesn't mean that you have to stand out. This means that you respect your audience, you understand what they're wearing and what kind of environment they are, um, and think about Let's, it. Can you tell me an example of, of something you've personally worn where you really thought, yes. Yeah, I, uh, personally, um, I gave a, meet, um, a keynote speak, um, um, to think very clearly. Um, these were full of diplomats in a room. Um, and they asked me to um, keynote the, um, the whole event, which I did. And I thought, in which way I can stand out? Because these were all men. So I, and, I know And usually, all from, from different cultures. Exactly. From okay. different cultures, okay. different um, hierarchical environment. Mm. But usually when you go to these kind of environment, there are only two kind of colors. You get black, white, which is only just the inside, or dark blue. And the only way to stand out is or you're being speaker or you just slightly change your color. And which uh, I had basically a uh, light gray with black stripes and um, a, a kind of 50s look um, with a 50s kind of look shoes. And uh, that was the, the way that I stood out. And that was also the way that people came to me and I said, wow, it's amazing that you dare to wear this in this region. 
um, yeah, people loved it. So I loved it too. And that's, that's, um, that brought me a lot of uh, another speaking gigs, uh, in a different region. So, um, and how did you feel again, when you had that on? How did I feel? It's, um, I felt like the book in a bookshop, uh, with a colorful cover that everybody goes first and picks that up Aha. without going and opening the inside. Because that's what happens in a book a bookstore. Uh, I know we tend to say the inside is more valuable than the outside. But if you go to a bookstore and you cannot stand out, then you can also not share your inside. So that's how I can explain myself. I like it. Very good. So, Eric, tell me, you have an event coming up, I believe. And, and I know that the date's not set yet. So we want to link with you. But tell me a little bit more about it. Basically, we would like to give... Um, an opportunity to any person to uh, be extraordinary on on a stage, and um, to be able to do that, we are we are planning. We already planned, but the dates are not fixed yet. Uh, seven different um, events in upcoming until July, organizing events too, so every person can join and have this storytelling uh, workshop, which is going to be from nine in the morning till six in the afternoon, and you're going to get to learn all the insights um, and and tips and tricks and you also going to practice so you're going to be on stage and we are going to give you positive feedback and um with that we're going to build your story so you can go and do your keynote okay so what's the best way since the date's not set the best way i think is to link with you on linkedin is that right that that will be the easiest way for now and i will um communicate everything through linkedin as that's my primary channel great thanks so much you're welcome